If you want to be effective and even masterful at identifying your limiting beliefs and then transforming them, there's a couple of prerequisites that if you have these beliefs in your mind, in fact, it's about installing beliefs about beliefs. So if you have these beliefs in your mind about beliefs, it will make your work so much easier. And, and uh, I know you're probably saying, what, we can have beliefs about beliefs? That's right, we can have beliefs about our beliefs about our beliefs. Because beliefs are, are kind of like, uh, they're, well, they're not like lone wolves. So beliefs are pack animals. They, they travel in packs and just like a, a pack of wild dogs, beliefs um, have a hierarchy. So you'll have, and whatever's at the top of the pack is going to kind of organize and govern and lead anything that's below it. And so when you install these beliefs about beliefs at the top of the uh, hierarchy of beliefs, then what you can do is, is these beliefs to stay in the dog metaphor will put a, a cage, a boundary around your beliefs and allow you to, to own them so that these are your beliefs rather than the beliefs running wild um, and causing havoc. Um, and, and it's just kind of like your dog. So if you have a pet dog or you know someone who does, do you let your dog just wander out into the world wherever it wants to go? Do you let it just go out into the streets and travel the world and, 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 and do whatever it may? Probably not. So while, while you may not have it in a cage 24 hours a day, you do have certain boundaries uh, of your home perhaps, or, but, but maybe not all the places, right? So you're not gonna allow your dog to maybe go on the couch or you're not allowed to sleep in. So this is where you're allowed to roam and this is not. And so these beliefs about beliefs uh, allow us to put these boundaries to uh, let our beliefs run freely, but within our preset boundaries because they're ours, they're ours, they're our beliefs. And that's really the, the belief about beliefs that I wanna talk about to, uh, in this video today, which is about uh, the belief that your beliefs are yours. It's about taking ownership over your beliefs. I, I had a client, uh, this was years ago already, and he said uh, what was clearly a limiting belief. So he said something along the lines of, oh, I'm so stupid, I'm never going to amount to anything. I'm so stupid, I'm never going to amount to anything. And so, well, I was just curious. I said, well, that's, that's interesting. That's an interesting belief. Which by the way, that statement alone is kind of like putting a boundary on it. You're going, it's not the truth, it's a belief. That's an interesting belief. And, and actually, uh, I just recently did a video on uh, one of these beliefs about beliefs that's really useful if you wanna be effective at identifying and transforming your limiting beliefs, which is that your beliefs cannot be the absolute truth. They cannot be, it's not possible. And I'll put a link to that video in the description here. Uh, but, but so I said, well, that's an interesting belief. That's one of these, these cages, these, these boundaries on the beliefs. I said, whose belief is that? Whose belief is it? And, and the intention here is now to get him to, to take ownership over his beliefs. Because if you, you know, again, your beliefs, you don't want them to be these wild wolves running around. You want them to be your, your pet, your dog your pet, and if you train yourself well, you train your dog well, then it actually serves you. It improves the quality of your life. It improves the quality of your emotions. So, so I said to my client at that moment, I said, whose belief is that? He said, hmm. He went inside, he thought about it, he said, that's, that's my father's belief. That, I, that I'm stupid and I'm never gonna amount to. I said, wow, that's in, so, so your father's beliefs are in you? That's fascinating. So, so now I, I got curious, I, so whose beliefs are in your father? You know, and he said, he said, well, I guess his father's beliefs are in him. Oh, and in your grandfather's? Well, his father. I said, wow, that's really interesting. So in your family, beliefs skip a generation. You know, in, in my family, my beliefs are in me. My parents' beliefs are in them. In your family, beliefs skip a generation? And he went inside and he kind of thought about it and processed it and see, when we try to disown or, or not take ownership over our beliefs, what happens is it's a form of, of, of dodging responsibility. It's about pushing responsibility down the line. And how far back does that chain go? So it's God's fault that I'm like this, or it's Adam and Eve's fault because they passed it down, passed it down, passed it down, passed it down, and now, now I'm with this, but it's not mine. And, and the key of this video is that if you want to, again, be, 
be very masterful at identifying and transforming your limiting beliefs, the first thing, one of the first things you need to do to believe about your beliefs is that your beliefs are yours. If it's in your mind-body system now, then why not take ownership of it? To take ownership over it so that, so that rather than having these beliefs run around that are out of your control, causing whatever they cause and wreaking havoc and chewing up the furniture to keep the dog metaphor, that you can actually own your beliefs to recognize that any thoughts or beliefs that are in your head are yours and to take that ownership, to take that responsibility over them so that you can now uh, tame them and train them to serve you to achieve what's best for you in your life. So, um, you know, I, I hope you found this video valuable here. Again, the key is take ownership over your beliefs. Sometimes they're gonna go and do wild things. But if you have your dog and it goes and does something that you don't want it to do, well, you have to reinforce uh, the change. But, but to recognize that th that's your dog. That's your dog. If you're gonna blame its bad behavior on the past owner, that's a great way to dodge responsibility and it's a great way to keep having to deal with the consequence of it because if it's not mine, then I don't take any responsibility and there's nothing that I can do about it. So, so uh, again, beliefs cannot be the absolute truth. That's, uh, that's one of the, the first beliefs about beliefs that help you to put the, they cannot be the absolute truth. To disidentify your from your beliefs, that's another one of these uh, boundaries that you could put. My beliefs are not me. I am more than my beliefs. Um, is your dog you if you had a pet dog? Or are you your dog? No, your dog is yours. You own it. And that's the third one, to take ownership over it. So I hope you found this video valuable. Uh, if you did and you think uh, you, know, uh, you, you know someone who would benefit from this, of course, feel free to share it along. Um, of course, like the video. I'm open to your questions and comments. What did you like about this video? Um, what are you taking away from this? And uh, I hope that this serves you in your life to take more ownership over your thoughts in your mind, which then will allow you to, 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 to take that control, to take that next step, which is to transform them. So I'm Jason Schneider. Uh, I'm the founder of the Perception Academy. I work with coaches, leaders, and personal developers to unleash the highest and best of human potential, starting with yourself, using cutting edge psychological models such as neurolinguistic programming, neurosemantics, self-actualization psychology, and uh, various coaching skills from different modalities. Uh, I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of your day, and uh, I'm wishing you more ownership over your beliefs so that you can take more responsibility for the thoughts that are leading to the results in your life and a more empowered future ahead.